How important was Alfred Hitchcock to your career? Um, you know, he was always a very, very good friend. I would see him when he was doing Alfred Hitchcock Presents years later, when actually I was doing Leave it to Beaver. And he would always come in a lot. He'd come in about once every month or two months to do the ins and outs of Alfred Hitchcock Presents. And he'd always stop his car and roll down his window, and he'd go, oh, hello, Mr. Mathers. And he always, when I was working with him, called me Mr. Mathers. Mr. Mathers was my father. At that time, I was either Jerry, later on, I was always yeah, Steve, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mr. The Mathers was my father. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. Makes it was so nice. What I know he had yeah. a good yeah. reputation. You know, you know what? It's a story that he was the nicest gentleman I've ever met. Do you still go and see movies at the cinema and see, you still enjoy them or do you stick to watching the classics on DVD? I, I tend to watch more of the classics. Of course, I mean, I go to a lot of the very hot movies and I go and I see them and a lot of them are excellent and the digital effects you just say, oh my gosh, how did they do that? Oh, that was so clever. But then I think back to when they didn't have those effects and how good the movies are and how they had to be so much better to be able to hold an audience.